Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be quite a big Disturbia haul. So I haven't done a Disturbia haul in ages. <laughs> so if you would like to see reviews of these pieces, um, do keep on watching, don't forget to subscribe and I will get straight into the video. So I have been waiting to film this video for over a month because I've placed three different orders with all of this stuff. I've got five things to show you and one other thing to talk about as well. So I did order like six in total, but one of them I have sent back, but I did a try on before I sent it back and also took some photos so I can put them on the screen kind of while I talk about things. So I have clothing, I have accessories, and I also have a pair of shoes, so quite the variety. So I'll start with my first order, which I placed on like the 16th of April. <laughs> so we're going back quite a bit. And I think they had a sale off of stuff that was already in the sale. So I did pick up a pair of shorts and some sunglasses. So I'll start with the shorts. So these are the Villain Wide Leg Shorts. And I just thought, that's the back of them. I just thought these were really cool. They are quite simplistic. Like they're, they don't have a lot of detail on them. They are just kind of red and black. But I really struggle to find shorts that fit me. I have a pair from Disturbia, which are the black and white striped pair. And they fit me perfectly. They're really comfortable. They don't make my hips look too wide. And they just fit me really well. So I was like, hopefully that's the case for all of their shorts. And these actually fit me really well too. So these were £24 originally. I believe I got 20 20% off or something like that um so with all of my clothing hauls i'll go through the details the sizing the quality and i'll also have a try on of each piece after i've talked about it as i said they are very simple red and black kind of checked looking print um and they yeah they're very simple they've got pockets either side always good love some pockets they also have a, like a little pocket there, which is cute. They do have a zip and a button. I'd say they're quite short shorts, um, as you can see, <laughs> but they, they're not like too short. And then they do have a kind of fake leather style thing on the back, kind of like jeans. And it does say dis for Disturbia. It does have belt loops and also two pockets on the back. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's literally it. <laughs> they are very, very simple. Um, I'd say they're a little bit see-through, like when you hold it up to the light. Yeah, you can kind of see through them a little bit, but um, because these are obviously for summer, um, these are perfect and I'm just really glad to have another pair of shorts because I literally probably have two pairs of shorts if that so i did actually need some especially for my holiday that's coming up what size did i get them a 10 i'm usually a 10 in shorts because that's the size that i got the striped ones in and again these fit really well and the quality is very nice they feel very soft so i'm really pleased with these actually so if they're in the sale i would recommend so this was the first item that i got item was the sunglasses so this was in my first order and these originally were 16 pounds in the sale they do come in this kind of packaging like with disturbia i do think that's like okay i guess but killstar sunglasses that are around the same price or cheaper they do come in a sunglass case which i like because these like they're not very well protected um like this isn't padded or anything and I feel like they should come in a sunglass case. So these are the sunglasses. There's one thing I don't like about these, but I'll just have to get over it or remove them somehow. But these are called the Psyche, Psyche, Psyche <laughs> round wire sunglasses. Now I have always wanted a pair of those like really goth round looking sunglasses. And I feel like these are kind of a good pair to start with so they are very round they do have the like nose 
things that sit on your nose i really appreciate that because a lot of sunglasses like my nose is too narrow up here that they actually slide down like the kill star ones so these fit me really really well and yeah they're just a pair of black sunglasses they do say disturbia on one of the legs they do have spikes either side so there's a spike here and a spike there and they've got this kind of wire piece going along the front and they are like black almost like a let me see almost like a blue black i would say in like the lenses see look they they do give quite a good of like goth sunglasses like <laughs> but yeah so i feel like these do suit me i really like them um they feel like a good quality however i don't like the spikes on them i do feel like they stick out a bit at the side they they are sharp they're not like i don't think you'd cut yourself on them but i don't really like that detail i would have preferred maybe like a rounded spike that didn't come out as much but these are very like spiky spikes <laughs> and they do come out quite a bit so i would have preferred almost like a rounded stud maybe as like a bit of detail um but I can forgive them for that i think they look really cool as i said like a really good pair of like goth sunglasses overall i'm happy with those sunglasses i got 20 percent extra off of them but i do feel like they should come in a case especially because that was a sale price for nearly 20 pounds you should at least get a case even if it's a standard one i feel like you should get a case with them but that was my first order and something to note that is all of their older styles so that is important <laughs> now we move on to the next one and this next order was placed on the 2nd of may and i got three things in this and this is all of their new stuff so they released the fantastic range which right up my street and i really liked the dress i think it's called the is it drusilla dress it's like the square necked one of course um and but it goes into a bodycon dress and whilst i really loved that style i saw reviews on the disturbia group on facebook and even people who were like really slim they said they didn't feel it flattered them and it kind of clung to all the areas that they didn't want highlighted i just didn't want that <laughs> i feel like if it didn't look as good on like someone slimmer than me then i don't think i would have liked it on myself so i I kind of stayed away from that one even though I really liked it but then they bought it out in red and they also bought out a top version so I was like that's perfect because the top version is what I really liked like it was the kind of dress part that I didn't like or that I didn't think would really flatter me so I did go ahead and get the top version so this is called the it's got a funny name the Dita long sleeve lace trim top this originally costs 32 pounds mm, <laughs> maybe i mean it does have really nice lace however it's a very thin top and it does tend to crease but it's not the end of the world so starting with the details it has this gorgeous lace frill it is looking a little bit brown on camera it could be the lighting that's a bit better yeah so it's a very nice kind of cherry vampy deep red it's very like pink toned it kind of matches that like eyeshadow that i wear literally all the time so it does have this really nice lace trim that goes all the way around the neckline it's super super pretty and it is quite thick as you can see so it does go all the way around the back of the neck and then it goes all the way around the front as well as you can see it is a ribbed material so it's very very stretchy and then the sleeves are kind of standard long sleeves and then at the end they've got these really cute cuffs of lace i really like this detail because it sits like over the hand and it just is so elegant especially if you've got like lots of kind of fancy rings like i do like it looks really nice and then there's also a piece of lace at the bottom of the top this wouldn't really be seen if you're tucking it into a skirt like i plan on doing but it is a really nice detail as well and the lace is really pretty and it also is a really nice soft lace it's not an itchy lace and that's basically it it's a really nice length top it's kind of standard it's not cropped 
or anything. It's kind of standard length. I got this in an 8. I have things in Disturbia ranging from a 6 to a 10. I will say one thing that I really don't like about Disturbia is their sizing. It's is ridiculous it's all over the place this fit me well though um i'm glad i got this in an eight but i do have like a top in a six that fits kind of similar so it's very like hit or miss with the sizing but it does fit me well in an eight um it does also have stretch which is a good thing the quality seems nice i will say it's on the thin side though it, it is thinner i think than i thought it would be like you can see like the outline of my like post not posters art prints through it like it's very see-through and i think for the price i thought it would be a lot more like what is the material of this actually so it's 95 percent viscose five percent elastane yeah i feel like this top would have been better in cotton i do feel like that would have been better for this one give it more structure while still looking flattering because i have some tops from killstar that are like rayon and they're like 20 pounds or 25 so i feel like 32 for something that's still like that thinnish material i'd say it is a bit overpriced but i did get a percentage off this so i will be keeping this one i do like it i just feel like i think i expected it to be a thicker material for disturbia so yes that is this one two items in this print so this came out very recently and it's the san fran i think it's how you say it san fran button-up play suit and the san fran button-up cami mini dress i have a lot to say about these two pieces <laughs> so when they came out again love some dark floral i was like this is gorgeous it's like a spotty print with almost daisy looking flowers with yellow super pretty absolutely loved it but i really loved the play suit because i i do love a play suit and i thought this dress looked really pretty as well i bought both i do have the dress here but the play suit is the one that i have already sent back because i originally bought the play suit in an eight i bought the play suit in an eight and i bought the dress in an eight but then i exchanged the dress for the 10 which is what i have here so i'll start with the play suit and i do have a clip of this so i will overlay it so the play suit I thought looked really pretty, however the neckline was a lot more deeper like than I thought it was and it definitely had more of a V than I thought it had in the photo. However the model wearing it in the photo does have long hair so that does kind of make a difference because because I have short hair the neckline is very very obvious so I didn't really like the style of that. It looked very like like, like a mum piece on me if that makes sense like I feel like it made me look older and I didn't really I just didn't think the style suited me um I think it was something to do with the neckline with the shoulders I feel like it made me look broader and just gave me mum vibes which isn't the look I wanted <laughs> so that was kind of the issue with the style of it the sizing it was very tight I could do it up but the sizing was very tight however it fit well everywhere apart from the kind of waist um it does look flattering when it's on but it was kind of like i can't eat in this <laughs> or really sit down in it um but it did look flattering so i would have had to swap it for the 10 if i wanted to keep it but then everywhere else would have been really baggy so the style of it just wasn't for me and the sizing wasn't really good either the material was very thin <laughs> And I'll kind of talk about that a bit more with the dress. Something I did like about the play suit, I felt like the shorts were a good length. And I went to unbutton it at first to try it on. And actually the buttons are sewn shut. And there's a big zip on the back. And I really liked that because play suits are so difficult to get in and out. Especially when you need to go to the toilet. So I really liked that there was a zip. It just made everything so much easier. And I was like that's such a good design because you don't have to unbutton it every single time you want to take it off or put it back on so i really liked that they, that they put a zip on that however my main issue with that was the style didn't feel like it suited me 
and the sizing wasn't great either so i did end up sending that back that was 45 pounds which i feel like is very overpriced for that considering how thin the material was so that was the play suit and now i'll talk about the dress because i can kind of show you a lot better because i do have it here so this was the mini dress this was 44 pounds again very overpriced when i was trying everything on i took off the play suit and then i went on to try the dress and i was like you know what brilliant they've probably put a zip in this no no zip and i understand that a zip makes it so much easier for a play suit so i understand that but for a dress that has buttons literally from the neckline all the way down to the end of the dress i thought surely <laughs> surely they've put a zip in it i haven't buttoned that up right have i no. this is what happens when you have buttons you just button it like wrong so that was my first disappointing thing it's it didn't have a zip I feel like actually that would be a game changer because there is a lot of quality issues with this one I would say I I'm not actually sure if I'm keeping this or not um, I'm kind of thinking about it because I actually have concerns about this holding up in the long run and that I don't usually have that I'll start with the details though um, they do have two single straps, not adjustable, <laughs> not sure why they did that, um, but they're literally, like, you can't adjust these at all. The style of it is very cute, it's kind of a straight neckline, goes down into a kind of A-line style, like it's not skater, and it's also quite a long piece. If you're tall, I feel like this would be good for you, because this is actually a bit too long on me it kind of hits my knees which is an awkward length for me but i feel like if you're tall this would work this material zero stretch like nothing <laughs> so when i tried the eight on i couldn't actually close it from the waist up to the chest so it fit me on the hips but it didn't fit my waist or chest which makes zero sense because my top half is always smaller than my hips like I have quite wide hips but like a smaller chest in relation to my hips if that makes sense so for something not to fit and when I say not fit I could not button it up like it was not happening I even tried it without a bra it was it was not not happening <laughs> like it was insane I was like what I felt like though that kind of was a lot more figure hugging in more of a flattering way whereas this almost seems too big for me now even though it's only one size up so this is the 10 i have tried it on this is almost too loose i can kind of go like this with the chest area and it kind of flaps whereas the size down i couldn't even button it up so like what is going on with the sizing <laughs> so going back to the details as i said it's got buttons that go all the way up the dress and the buttons are quite pretty to be honest they do have a really nice kind of silvery blue sheen to them that catch the light really nicely like i do like the buttons they've used they are very pretty and the material looks like this so very cute the sizing as i've said the eight wasn't happening the 10 fits better i can close it which is nice but it's almost too baggy it fits well on the waist but the chest is a little bit big like it's not obviously big um but it is still big the length is almost too long for me now so there's just so many sizing issues with this um and what's strange is this is the exact same material as the play suit no stretch same size i could do up the play suit but i couldn't do up the dress <laughs> like i just i do think that's strange because it is the same collection it's the same material um weird okay so now i move on to the quality issues of this so i did mention with the play suit this is insanely thin like it's i don't know if it would actually be see-through it might not be see-through but i do feel like this material is very thin okay so it's 100 percent polyester i feel like that could be why because this viscose and if that's even how you say it and rayon they feel thin but they feel very soft whereas this it feels like that kind of blouse material um very thin which i get for summer because i don't mind things being thin if they're for summer like i don't mind that because it is kind of better to wear but this i don't know like it, it kind of feels soft but 
the material is just I don't like it <laughs> I don't like the material and I feel like this wasn't what I was expecting for a dress that's like 44 pounds like nearly 50. when I got it out I was like this does feel cheap and that was my initial thought about it so my main concern this is like the number one problem that I have with this dress and this is like I don't know if I'm gonna keep it the amount of loose threads on this is ridiculous there's they're everywhere the main thing is they are around the buttonholes which is concerning because if they would have just put a zip in the back it would be fine because you wouldn't have to use the buttons to get it on but every time you're going to put this dress on and off you have to undo all nearly all of the buttons and that is just going to keep tearing at these buttonholes so this is an example of one of them you can see this like loose thread and all of this if i put my thumb through it like it's not finished off well there's loose threads and every time you unbutton it the thread actually catches around the button and it would be so easy to just pull that by accident and i feel like this is not going to hold up over time um even with the this one like this is a different hole like it's not finished off the best there's loose threads there's one that's literally like a nightmare yeah like there's this one too like they literally all have it and i just feel like over time that is gonna break and kind of like every time i wonder if i can show you i do have a photo of it when i undid it and it caught um i'll see if i can show you yeah see it's literally done it for this one i didn't even do that on purpose right so i've just undone this button and it has actually caught around that bit of thread so every time you undo this you're gonna have to try and feed that through just to undo it that's just undoing one button like it, it literally happens every single time you undo it which is ridiculous i'm just really disappointed in this because i really like the collection but i do feel like it's very overpriced and just the quad there's so many quality things with this and even not around the buttons there are loose threads like there like there's loose threads there so they're just and even on the front see that one it's literally covered in them like everywhere i look there's a loose thread um i would expect that from new look from like a 15 pound thing but not from can you hear the ice cream truck <laughs> but not from disturbia for like a 45 pound item so i'm actually really disappointed in this one and i've heard a lot of people complain about the recent quality of disturbia because i do have some pieces in the past like i have the checked midi dress amazing quality it's still like thin but it feels really soft really nice there's no loose threads it's made very well and that compared to this like there's just no comparison so although i like the style of it the quality that's the main thing where i'm like i really don't know how long that's actually going to hold up like all of it's mainly the loose threads around the buttons because they are going to break over time um and also i'm just like why why is there no adjustable things on the straps like why why is that not a thing and also the sizing like there's so many issues with this dress it's unbelievable rant over <laughs> but i do think it's important to get that across because if you're looking at this dress i do hope this helps you make your decision look even that oh my gosh like threads everywhere there's another one they're just everywhere this on a positive note <laughs> i bought some shoes i shouldn't have bought shoes but i bought some shoes in one of my previous disturbia hauls i bought a pair of the mary jane platform shoes i looked at those in previews when they weren't released and i 
I just loved them and I ended up buying them and I never did a review and I know I got some comments recently saying can you review these here's my mini review uncomfortable not made for walking <laughs> They are so blocky, like obviously they're not going to move with your foot, so your foot slips out every single time. There's no real way of stopping that. I have seen photos of the sole completely off, which scared me. There was just a lot that I didn't like about those shoes. They were, they really hurt actually like underneath my foot, like not even the ankle, like just underneath. They were very painful. Um, I wore them to town once. And I already knew, like, no. <laughs> I actually ended up selling those. They bought out a pair of shoes called the Cursed Mary Jane shoes. So I'm risking some Mary Janes. But honestly, I can already tell that these are so much better. I've already worn them. Usually I like to save stuff for my review. But they matched my outfit so well, I just had to. <laughs> so I have worn these. So they do come in the Disturbia box. Looks like this. It's black and shiny. I did get these in a four. I will say that their shoes, their shoe range isn't the best. They don't have a three, which I feel like honestly would fit me a lot better. And they don't go up to higher sizes, which I know some people are requesting. This is what the shoe looks like. Super cute. Um, I have worn these. So I'm going to try not to touch the bottoms of them because that always grosses me out. But yeah, this is the shoe. Immediately, the sole looks so much better. So these are, I mean, they almost look like a Doc Martin sole. They're, they're not foam because I can't stand a foam sole. So these are a really nice sole. And from the look of it, they have been stitched. I could be wrong, but they definitely look a lot more secure like, in attachment to the sole than the other ones did. So it could just be a decoration, but it does look to join it up with the rest of the shoe which i like they do have good grip along the bottom of them and it's quite a chunky sole like i would say this is like it's almost a platform it's not like proper platform but it's probably a good like five centimeters there maybe maybe even more actually and they're very very comfortable that's the main thing the material of them is fake leather i do prefer leather shoes in general i've had some comments asking why on earth i would like leather shoes i think they last longer they're better quality they fit to your feet many reasons you know disturbia don't do real leather shoes but these are really nice and what's really unique about these that i've never seen done is they almost look like silk in the light like they have this shine to them. They're not like patent, but they just have this really nice silky look to them. They're really unique. I really liked that about them. They do have a kind of round toe area and they've got these upside down crosses that have studs on them. And the studs are definitely what sold it to me. Usually I think studs can look quite cheap. <laughs> But I really, really liked the look of these. So from here to here and then across, they have these pointy studs. And I do, I would say that these feel like a really nice quality. And they just kind of form like an upside down cross along the front. I just love it. And then they do have a strap and it kind of goes into like a T strap kind of classic Mary Jane style. I will say that this leather on the strap is quite thin. I'm not sure how that will hold up over time. Hopefully it will be fine, but I will say that this is very thin and kind of flimsy. And then it does have a buckle down there. So yeah, those are the details of these. As I said, I got them in a four. They fit better than the other Mary Janes but as you can see I do have like insoles in here that's like what they look like inside they do say Disturbia but I just have a pair of like insoles that I've had and they make it a lot more comfortable as well what I found with the other Mary Janes is when I tried to put insoles in them they pushed my foot too high up that it was almost like not even in the shoe anymore whereas these like your foot is definitely in them and that you can definitely put insoles in these um so if you struggled with that with the last pair then these would be a better option as i said i've worn them for a few hours around town i found them very comfortable the only thing that is not the best is they do tend to slip again but i do think that's due to the sizing of them rather than the sole because this sole although it is quite sturdy it does have 
it does bend a little bit when you walk which is a huge help i think what i'm going to do is just get some heel grip things and put them in there because i feel like that will solve the issue these didn't blister me either which is good um and what another detail i liked is usually on this part of the shoe companies tend to double back it with the leather to make it more sturdy this doesn't have that it kind of has like an effect to make it look like that but you can immediately like push this down it's very soft so it's not like that really thick leather that just scrapes away at your ankle like it's very bendy um and it's almost like suede feeling inside so they're very soft and from the moment i wore them they were very comfortable but i will be putting some heel grips in them um just to make them stay on a little bit better because i am usually a three two or four so these are a tiny bit big but i can definitely make them work and i really like them i think i'm gonna wear them today as well so this is what they look like together very very cute very lolita style i feel like really pleased with them actually they definitely surprised me they would also look very cute with frilly socks i wear them with black ones but i feel if you want like a super lolita vibe like a pair of white frilly socks would look really cool because that would really like make that cross stand out on the front um and i feel like they're a very good pair of summer shoes too they were originally 65 pounds i got them for 52 plus shipping definitely some pieces that i'm really happy with like the shorts and the sunglasses and the shoes like i really really am pleased with those but equally some things that i was really disappointed in like the play suit and the dress and the top is a little bit thin for what i expected so kind of equal amounts of really pleased and disappointment if you have those pieces in that print the play suit and the dress do let me know what you thought of them in the comments because i would be interested to know and let me know your favorite thing in this haul and your overall opinion of the things i've talked about because i do know some other people have also said that disturbia is going a bit downhill in their quality and i have noticed that hopefully they can kind of get their act together and bring the quality back up because they have some really nice designs lately and i actually at the moment prefer the disturbia designs to the killstar ones there's literally nothing on killstar that i want <laughs> that's a first you feel like their designs are really good and they're really pretty and i like the new like unicorn floral one but i do feel like they need to fix their quality issues i do hope that this review and haul helped you um especially if you've been looking at these pieces and wanted to learn a little bit more about them or like see them in a bit more detail um i do hope that this helped do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye